Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Zupro's SEO Talk and Tea. Today's conversation is the power of the people also ask boxes um, in the uh, Google searches. These are particularly important, especially because in uh, when it comes to content development, a lot of people want to know what content to develop in terms of their SEO strategy. And the people also ask boxes are a great way to discover uh, new content topics. But before we dive into the nitty gritty details, I want to introduce the tea we have today. Today we have a jasmine green tea from the company Black and Bold. Again, this is a recurring guest on our uh, show because I particularly like jasmine tea. And you'll notice that every time it's a relatively hot day, and the, the sun is so is so hard today, and it's so early in the morning. I don't know how it's so sunny. I tend to go for the jasmine green tea when it gets really hot. It's a tea that's brewed at a lighter temperature and it just has this really fluorescent kind of uh, flavor. But let's go ahead and get brewing and get talking about this. So. That's the right team. Good. So talking about the people also ask boxes. So what what these are is if you ever Googled something um, in, a, in you know in in Google and you you know, see the search results, sometimes you'll see this table or this box that comes out. Well, it, it, and essentially what it does is it lists usually four to five questions that are related to your search query. So it isn't exactly what you typed in, but it will be questions that are relevant to your search. And if you open the box or if you click the question, it will uh, open in a, almost a, a, like an accordion and it'll have an answer to that question and the source. So that's what we call the people also ask box. And the reason why that, that is so important is because when you are trying to develop content, uh, when when it comes to content development for SEO, it's all about optimizing for entities or making content that Google that Google understands to be relevant to your topic that you're trying to rank for. The more thorough your content library can be about a certain entity or a topic, uh, the the better you look in Google's eyes. So in another case is what that means is that the the more flushed out you are about a certain topic you're trying to rank for, the better shot you have at ranking for it. So the reason why the people also ask boxes are so important is because when someone's Googling something and they see the people also ask boxes and the questions, that is a direct signal from Google saying, hey, you know when people Google this, other searchers tend to also ask these questions and those are the questions that people also ask boxes. That is Google telling you what they think is relevant to that search query. Therefore, when you're doing content development, if you need to ideate or think about what to write about or what, how, to, how to flush out the content library, I always go the people also ask box route because that is a direct tell into um, what Google wants. And so you can do it a couple of different ways. You can do it one way, which is you know take each question and make it into a blog post, or you can take all the questions and make it into one big blog post. It, the execution doesn't matter as much as long as you're taking concepts and adding it to your site somewhere, somehow. And of course, you want to add some internal linking structures. And if you're not familiar with internal linking, I've filmed a couple of videos. I've wrote guest posts about it. I'll link it in the bottom for you guys. But the people also ask box is a great way to discover new uh, content opportunities. Now, I will say it gets limited at times. Um, you know, it will generally have the same five when you Google it. If you open a box, it'll open up another five. If you open another box, it'll open up another five. You can keep going down the list. There are other tools you can use, like Answer the Public, which will just take people also ask questions and then show them to you. You can do it that way. I will say this is not the only source of content inspiration that you should use. I will say that uh, it's a great starting fundamental point, but the, um, once you kind of go through the list of all the people also ask questions, you'll notice that many of them are similar or redundant, then you will have to then com combine your classic competitive research, uh, creative thinking, and then in addition to, you know, these people also ask boxes and questions in order to formulate your content strategy. But again, if you're starting out or you haven't used this route yet, I would heavily encourage it when you're trying to rank uh, in, you know, in Google because the people also ask boxes will provide you the lens into what people are, uh, uh, into what other related searches, questions, and content Google is dignifying similar to your search, giving you a more thorough library that you know Google uh, has in, in, in terms of their own entity mapping. You can use that same map and use, use it as a blueprint for your own site. So hopefully that's helpful. If you guys found that you know video valuable, please like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and pour my tea out right now, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks, everybody.